Hurricane Isabel struck the North Carolina coast as a Category 2 hurricane 10 years ago. Even though it weakened to a tropical storm as it moved through Virginia, Isabel still brought strong winds and incredible amounts of rainfall into central Virginia and right through the Shenandoah Valley. Shelley and Dwayne Carter had only lived in the valley for five years when Isabel struck. They're from the west coast and turned to others in the community. They had never prepared for this kind of storm before. Neighbors, people in the church, people, friends told us about some of the things you might need to do. They prepared the best they could. Basically, everybody didn't think it was going to be that big of one by the time it hit here. Although the valley may have been spared from the strongest of Isabel's winds, we were not spared by the torrential rain and flooding. In Sharando, 20.3 inches of rain fell. So in neighboring Lindhurst, the rain came up 26 inches high. I didn't expect it to start coming up the stairs and I didn't think it would push the um, garage doors open. It took the water nearly three days to recede from their property, but after the water was gone, they were left with a mess of mud, soot, and debris. Carter advises people to be prepared with your attitude and be ready in the event that something does happen. It's been an unusual year. Anything's possible. I think the biggest thing is just maybe have a few supplies. Inland flooding from a tropical system is the most deadly danger of a hurricane or tropical storm. In Augusta County, I'm meteorologist Aubrey Urbanowitz for WHSB.